So if you think you have an alternator that's overcharging, I thought I'd go over the causes and symptoms of this and how you go about fixing it. So what are some symptoms of an overcharging alternator? Well, first of all, very likely you're gonna get some kind of message like a check engine light, a battery light, or some kind of message because the onboard computer is gonna see that there's a problem with the alternator. And so very likely it's gonna send this out in some kind of message. And when a battery is overcharging, it's gonna get really hot and start bulging out. And quite often there's like a strange smell coming from it because it's getting way hotter than it should. And so if you pop your hood and and you see the battery's gotten really hot, it's bulging out, and it's got a strange smell coming from it, then that is a symptom that the alternator is overcharging. And so how do you tell if the alternator is overcharging? Well, if you have a multimeter, what you do is you check the battery voltage with the engine off, and that should be somewhere around like 12.20 to 12.75, something like that, right around the 12 volt range. Then you start the engine, you check what the output is, and this normally will be around 13 and a half to 14 and a half volts. Although some vehicles can get a little higher, they can't go up to like 15 volts. So if you are getting like 15 volts, then you might want to research your vehicle to see what the correct output voltage is. But a very normal range is around 13 and a half to 14 and a half volts. If you're getting something really high, like if you're getting over 16, 17, 19 volts, something like that, that's way too much. And the alternator is overcharging. And what can be some causes when an alternator is overcharging? Well, the most common thing is going to be a bad voltage regulator. And these voltage regulators can be external or internal. And so an external voltage regulator is going to be separate from the alternator. It'll be like on the firewall or something like that. While an internal voltage regulator is going to be built into the alternator. So if the voltage regulator is external, then you'll just have to test it or replace it. But if the voltage regulator is built into the alternator, then you'll have to replace the whole alternator since the voltage regulator is built into it. There is some vehicles where the voltage regulator is built into the onboard computer, PCM, ECM. And while not too common, some manufacturers did do this on some vehicle years. And if the voltage regulator is built into that, then the whole computer will need to be replaced. There is some workarounds where you could build your own voltage regulator. I made some videos on that. I'll put a link down below if you need to check that out. But the first thing to go do is to check and see if you have an external voltage regulator or if the voltage regulator is built into the alternator and then test or replace those. And the next thing that could cause this is a wiring issue, mainly with the bad ground. That's very common with wiring problems because the alternator needs to have a good ground. It needs to be going to the engine block and going back to the electrical system. And if it doesn't have a good ground, then that voltage will be all over the place. And so if you got through and you tested the voltage regulator or you replaced it and you're still having this issue, then be sure to check for a good ground. And the next thing that might cause this problem is a bad battery sensor. And not all vehicles have a battery sensor, but many newer ones do. And the battery sensor can report back to the onboard computer what the load on the battery is. And if the load is high on some cars, it could tell the alternator to output a higher voltage. And so if you have a higher than normal voltage or the vehicle's always running at the high range of alternator output and you checked everything else out, be sure to check out that battery sensor because sometimes it can cause a problem, especially if the voltage is just at the higher range of output, not something extremely high, but that the alternator is always just outputting at the very high range, then be sure to check for a bad battery sensor. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to go over the main causes when an alternator is overcharging and how you go about fixing it. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.